Hello everybody, welcome to CCL, oh wow we started with a blitz, CCL Season 50, a second round match between Memento Mori and his Wood Elves, and Toast Guy 7 and his Undead. Um, this looks like an interesting game, particularly with a blitz. Toast Guy has got a Wizard and a Bribe, because he's down that much TV, but his team's pretty okay, oh, no, no, maybe it's not. Well, it's, yeah, it is okay, he's got three Tacklers, one's with Mighty Blow, he doesn't have a Pommer. This one being rookie, like until I saw this one, it looked it looked interesting until he's got the rookie one, right? Because he's got block guard there, a couple of dirty players, block mummy, um, like both break tackle, no, both grab, one break tackle. Um, so you know he's got some interesting things. Oh wow, just instantly uses his wizard to try and recover, and oh my god, they all fail. <laughs> got a four fail fireball after losing the ball on the blitz jesus christ talk about diced and sidestep as well so he can't try anything to like if he didn't have sidestep obviously he wouldn't have followed there and blitzed him to here but he can sidestep to here so this is really really terrible um that was a super unlucky wizard um memento murray's like team isn't that exciting right that's the thing that that was what i thought made it like closer because his team isn't that good. Um, like, it's not that exciting. He's got a load of blodge. And he's got a strength 4 dancer, which is pretty great. Move up dancer, which is a bit of a bit of a waste, honestly. But he's got this really nice one-turner, isn't he? God, I can't see anything because of the shitty fucking camera. Really nice one. Oh, yep, yep. Thanks, game. If you could just let us watch the game, please. Fuck me. Right. <laughs> He's got a really nice one-turner here <laughs> with plus move, sidestep, and sure feet. So he's got a pretty nice one-turning option. Um, the Kaz gives him gives him more reserves, but he's he's got a deep bench, hasn't he? So it's it's a pretty it is a pretty good team from from the Wood Elves, to be honest. Not that exciting. Oh my god, he's cast. <laughs> Not that exciting. Um, Apart from the strength up, like he's got no edge up, and he's only got one guard, so it's not it's not yeah it's not that good a team right. It's it's still Wood Elves, and it's still probably good enough to beat an undead team that's just spunked its wizard <laughs> and lost the ball on a blitz. So yeah, yeah. Well, it's not over though. Don't say it's over. If you remember the game K Fog versus Kill Bill where. We said it was over after a defensive blitz for a Wood Elf team, and then, uh, you know, Kill Bill just banged him out in a couple of turns. So that could happen. I mean, unlikely, but you never know. Oh, yeah, three dirty players he's got. Wow. But, I mean, it's, it's looking bad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's looking terrible for the uh, for the undead. They've lost, what, lost two players already. They've, they're down. They've lost two. They removed one, but they're they're down two. So they've been outbashed. But this is oh God. Yeah. Oh my God. I was going to say I like that re-roll because you really do want this guy, like, you know, you're so far behind, you've got to use your re-roll to get the power there, and then you've got the dirty player to foul him, but he didn't move this guy and stuff, and oh my god, this is just horrendous, isn't it? And now he's getting, getting uh, his ghoul hit and killed, oh my god. <laughs> right, well, don't say it's over. <laughs> It's not over. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Um, but, yeah, all right, it might be over. <laughs> but just don't say it is okay. Don't say it's over. <laughs> the strength for ghoul has been killed. <laughs> oh my God, this was his, like, complete anti-elf thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Strength 4, sure hands, blodge step, and tackle. The absolute ultimate anti-elf. And then he exposed him to get that hit. Dub scold. 
and got killed. Fucking hell. So yeah, it's... Uh... I mean, I don't know how it isn't over, but let's pretend. Let's, uh... Let's pretend that Elliot's got a point and it's not over. <laughs> well, at least this should be quick anyway. I can zone out, look at some Minecraft stuff. <laughs> God. <laughs> what an absolutely stupid, stupid bloody game. Oh, well, he's made a Kaz back. Made a Kaz back. You never know. You never know what might happen. I mean, you kind of do know. But you never know. <laughs> Don't say it's over. Absolutely anything could happen. Absolutely anything could happen. looks looks pretty over doesn't it I can't lie I'm just honest you know at the end of the day the problem that I've had all my life is being honest and uh, <laughs> yep this looks this looks bad. It was the only problem, did I? Dickhead faulty. <laughs> curry versed, yeah. I don't think Pommes was. But curry versed was. Yeah, that's correct, faulty. Your friend! Friend! <laughs> faulty has a friend! <laughs> Thank you, Vault Vobs, for making this game more interesting. Oh, God. Normally you ruin games with your appearance. <laughs> this, was, this one was improved. Things was already over. 
Oh, he's failed the dodge. Will he die? No. He just uses a reroll. No problem. <laughs> Is there a super sexy clever chain? No, I don't think so. Oh, there is! There is! Okay. Because he, he, he could have pushed him right into here. And then uh, chained this ghoul to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI, GFI. Well played, Jim. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Of course, that didn't happen. But, you know. Why do good players when you've picked grab yourself to essentially make those players? But just don't bother. No problem. I mean, Mighty Blowing a Dance is probably better anyway at the end of the day. No, no, no blitzers. The, the mummy was here. He's literally just blitzed. The mummy's here, it's got grab. So so you, put, you punch this guy and grab him to here. And then you fill in that hole. So you block, you block, and then grab, and then this this zombie punches and gets the thing. It was a pretty fucking great play, to be honest. You know, not not just a pretty face. And there you go. I tend to not take grab either, so it was particularly good for me spotting a grab play. Um, whereas you know, if people you know use grab more, they probably should spot those. Like for example, uh, Yudlagar. If you watch him, he'll make he'll make some quite good grand players because he's always inducing Ripper. Whereas I just never think about grab. But then I did think, is there a sexy chain player? And there was. I mean, this could have been a surf, couldn't it? He could have uh, could have tried to surf the white there. Didn't bother to try. Which you know, I'm not saying that's bad because at the end of the day, like it was a bit risky to try and surf the white. But he could have. He could have gone for it, couldn't he? He's actually somehow not got that many players left. Exactly, exactly, J Bazza, thank you. I did make the mistake of playing more GG Tour after the terrible start. But, um. I didn't, uh, I didn't like, uh, have anything terrible happen to me, like, you know, I, I dealt with the adversity quite well, so that was good. Unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't think too hard about the optimal play on the last turn, which I should have done. And if I'd thought about the optimal play on the last turn, and made it, I think I would have won. Should have just left him down, right? You don't want you don't a guard zombie blitz by, by a dancer. Oh, there's another Kaz! You know, not terrible. Don't, don't use the uh, bribe here. Because um, you want to use it for the second half to like make millions of fouls, right? You've already got two other dirty players. Like this, there's a world in which he comes back. Like, if the elves snake on the two turn or something. And he gets a blitz himself. It's not about the one turn, it's th this was the undead drive, Jay Bazza. So it's it's pretty horrific. <laughs> it was the undead drive, and they've had their, their ghoul carrier killed. So, it's... It's asking a lot to come back, but you know, if they can make that neat ma that many cars, maybe they can. Get another foul here. Another blitz. I did watch the blitz as well. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> This'll be a sad one to get sent off, because I still think you have to save the for the second half. So he'd really like to get away with this one and still have two dirty players under bribe for, the, for like overtime. Obviously overtime is the only way he wins this match now. Pretty much. Turns over the elves and uh, stalls it out and gets to overtime. So there, there is a chance. Don't say it's over.
Okay, both KOs come back, not much of a chance. Is it like a full, it's a full wood L2. Three, six, nine, eleven. Yep, it's still a. F it's a full wood elf team. Um, despite three cars, it's only down a little bit of quality because he's got like you know it's just down three skills basically because he's he have three massive bench so he's got value from his bench like you know it was it, the bench players gave away the wizard and the bride, but they've certainly been used, haven't they? That is a very good point, Full Force, yeah. That is a very good point. I might learn how to sing. Be good, wouldn't it? I could have singing lessons and stuff, couldn't I? Yeah, you have seen me in Pop World, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have. <laughs> That's so good. Right, well, that's not the start they needed. Oh, it's Daka. We're going to see a Daka. Glorious. Daka, Daka. The dull attacker. Defense on offense. I guess if he gets into trouble with a Ducker here, there's a chance. Another Susan boy. <laughs> Hello, Pedro. Congrats on the uh, your match versus Kill Bill. Covered it yesterday. Yesterday. Danger zone. No, I do. I do. I do. Wild Wild West. And uh, could it be magic? They are my two. They are my two go tos. Obviously, can't sing either, but they're funny, aren't they? The main thing is they're funny. Who does the Cisco parts? Us usually Wanger's wife. <laughs> ideally, ideally we get Wanger's wife in to do the Cisco parts. That's very true, Pedro. Yeah, that is very true. Yeah, that was hilarious. That, uh, that GFI. Uh, I actually prefer going the other way just because there's like. The, you know, these zombies are slower and. But I mean, this is fine, isn't he? He's got right up there. And he's going to really struggle to get back. So this is, this is looking good. You can go 2 0 up and. Uh, and then it's GG, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, it was brutal. The, the claw pommers were insane, weren't they? Like, and the first turn was like, oh my god. The, the first like couple of turns were insane, but then uh, then it calmed down after that, didn't he? And he couldn't he couldn't remove anyone really. So really nice. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how you're getting in the way of this. I don't think that was the best uh, Daka defense. He really needed just more damage from all of the cars. Like, he just needed more cars, more damage. And then somehow turn over the Wood Elves. But, um, didn't happen, did it? D 
didn't really happen. Oh, he went back. Well, I'm not saying this is shit and wrong, but I really liked uh, going forward. <laughs> Don't watch the VOD. Yeah, like, I, I don't know, the thing is, like, yeah, I, fucking, I hate Blitz and Wrestle, like, I fucking hate Blitz and Wrestle. It's basically a guaranteed one in nine, isn't it, you know? So, like, and yeah, removing a goblin is, is basically worthless, but it's still, it's still removing, like, an assist for his claw pommers and everything, isn't it? And, like, um, yeah, I think, I think if you can't hit a good player, Hitting the player more likely to remove and definitely. Uh... Oh, he did try to go forward, but didn't get the knockdown, did he? I'll, I'll be honest, I zoned out and, I, and I've been looking, uh, been looking at Minecraft things because I thought it was over. But you know, don't say it's over. So, and now, somehow, from from what looked like an automatic touchdown for the uh, for the Woodies. I've taken my eye off the ball, and now somehow they're in a pickle, aren't they? They've got two players trapped, one player stunned, and they've got about five here. They can scoot over to here, but it's uh, they're going to get covered as well. Maybe it's becoming a game. Maybe it's becoming a game. Maybe you shouldn't have dackered. <laughs> Maybe you should have just scored in two. <laughs> The thing is, the scoring in two isn't automatic, is it? You know, that, 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 that's the thing that grinds my gears is a strong word, but it's the thing that I think is stupid when people, like, criticise the DACA. As if, you know, as if you do a normal drive, you will never have to roll a critical, uh, you know, two plus, or you will just automatically score the two turn, you know? Like, the people act as if these critics of the DACA act like these two things are true. Now, of course, you can you can go the other way as a proponent of the DACA, but still, I just think they're pretty close. I think they're I think they're like you'll often end up with having to roll critical two plus on a on a conventional drive, and yes, obviously, failing it near your end zone is worse than failing it up the pitch. But then, not getting punched, etc. Like, there's a lot of advantages to the DACA, isn't there, as well, to balance that. But often, if you if you do a really critical one, in, uh, you know one in thirty six fail, it's going to be really critical no matter where you are on the pitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's lost three players this drive, including a strength four dancer. Somehow, I maybe should have paid attention to it. Um, <laughs> maybe should have paid. This is turning into a game, isn't it now? This is actually turning into a game. Maybe should have paid attention. He's going to tackle Blitz this one on 3D. No, no, he's just going for the furthest forward. I like that. I do like going for the furthest forward one because, you know, you've got to stop him scoring. If he scores, it's over.
I don't know if I thought you did you not see the blitz? <laughs> like the first half was a was a massacre for the undead. It went as bad as it could have possibly gone for the undead. But yeah, two stuns here. Oh yeah, they do have this move guy. But we're gonna have a critical two plus and he's gonna have to cheer fire once or twice as well. Oh if this is a one, if this is a one No it's not. But he's got the shitty sideline cage, which is which is always lame. So we can see a lot of heat. We can see a lot of heat put on the cage this this turn. Wow. Unbelievable. I shouldn't have zoned out, should I? Um, <laughs> uh, yes, Duke. Doing PC Rick Live. Yep, for sure. He gets the big removal there, though. Like, well, pow. Big pow, because he'd have to free the tackler up. Big pow there. And the AV break. Mine got. So you want to go, like, here and here to cover the leap. Yeah. Really nice. Really nice from Toast Guy. I could foul this one. Need the cage dive surf. Maybe. I mean, this is pretty strong, though, right? This is, like, this is not easy to get out of. I guess what you do, you one die, one die splits. And then either leap or dodge through. Oh, in fact, you've got a guard there. Oh, oh, God, yeah, okay, so it's a lot easier than I thought. So, yeah, put the guard in, blitz him, and then either leap or dodge. Oh, wow, you don't even need to do either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, double GFI. Oh, it doesn't get the... doesn't get... Ooh. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? So, here we go. Does he snake? Ooh. Oh my god, he does. Well, wow. Yeah. Um, so yeah, maybe he should have cage dived because that was really easy. <laughs> and maybe he should have fouled the... Uh, maybe the he should have fouled the guard right with a mummy. Oh no, he'd already used the bribe. Ah, oh, shit. And the stun. And the ghoul's there. And he's still got three turns. It actually is an exciting game, yeah. Oh god. Oh man, huge pow. No AV break though. Diced again. What a joke. He hasn't blitzed, has he? He should have blitzed, uh, he should have blitzed this guy so that he could have fouled the dirty player. If you ask me. Like this white could have blitzed, or the ghoul. Like, e either one could have blitzed this guy. And then he could have got a dirty player foul. You could be my wingman anytime. Nice fouls here. Bullshit. The Texas Dolly himself, hello Elliot. Thank you for the raid, glorious. Hi now. <laughs> uh, brought the ghoul back and not kept him forwards. You'd, what this one? You need him forward to like score, don't you? So you probably need, like you need a hand off with only two more turns. So he's about as deep as he, he probably wants to be more forward. And hello, Elliot viewers, and thank you very much for the raid. Glorious. Ooh, sidestep, no problem. Maybe he should have uh, tried to hit this, this gal. 
because he could have come there and then he could have hit that. that. Because he's, you know, uh, he's got a score, right? And the only player he's got that really can score is this this Russell Goo. Is the only realistic scoring threat. I guess I guess four GFIs from this white. But the what the white could have three D'd him, and then you could have blitzed this guy off, and then you've got the dodge away handoff, and then uh, go with a move seven is better, isn't it? Saves you two GFIs. Well, he's got the ball. Flip me. And there we go. Maybe, maybe you should have given it to your ghoul, mate. Get them both. Yeah, who is it, PC? Do you know who it is? Like, I knew it was an old, but I don't know who it is. You do know who it is. Oh. Say that you won't DM me, but then DM me, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's rolled a skull. Flip me. He can probably uh, chain himself here. Right, with a grab. He could have punched back and then grabbed him back. And then... Uh, could he have, and then, you know, like, done something with the grab, but he hasn't even tried. I would have definitely tried to change somehow, right? With all these players, somehow you've got to try and stop that GFI on those GFIs. There you go, Toast Guy. Toast Guy's plays be played better than, than, the, than the Woodies, anyway. He's battled and uh, he's battled, kept himself in it. But the Woodies have won the toss. I like the I like that he's done the Dakar anyway. I'll give him that. I'll give him that memento, Murray. He's done the Dakar. Three, six, eight players. Maybe he should have uh, rerolled that blitz, right? If he if he blitzed to try and get through there, he probably should have rerolled that. Because if he gets through there, he, he's won. So that was a costly one in nine. I guess that was the critical turn when it looked over and when I like I literally tabbed out because I thought it was over. <laughs> I li literally tabbed out because I thought it was over and then missed him losing the game. So, <laughs> well, not losing the game, failing to win the game that turn, uh, which might have cost him the game. He's out of rerolls. So. Now he's trying the quick score, and the quick scores always work. We know that, as every as every critic of the DACA will 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 have you know. Quick scores always work, so there's absolutely no chance he fails the pick up here, and no chance he fails a handoff. Uh, in fact, we'll just no chance he fails any single roll because two turn touchdowns are absolutely hundred percent guaranteed. Well, he's made the pickup. He's made the handoff. <laughs> it's looking, uh, it's looking pretty horrendous. What, why is he going there? Why is he cheerifying? Oh, I guess he's got sprint sure feet. I prefer to like have a have a wide screen and have him there and then, but I guess just having him super close is all right. I guess can he get him? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, five. No, I can't. He's just one then, hasn't he? Hmm. Well, I guess he has one. Like you can still try, can't you? But what? How the hell do you do it?
Because the undead being anywhere, yeah, he didn't cover the... Letting them go right down the sideline without anything back to cover is pretty mental, isn't it? Like... <sighs> He's just going to base the ball. Yeah, I mean, he can't hit it. Wow, that was a terrible sidestep. Don't you sidestep to here? Don't you sidestep to here? So that he's uh, he's t he's got to dodge into a tackle zone. You had to sidestep here, right? Yeah. So that let him make a three plus dodge, and he rolled a three. So if he'd sidestepped here, he's only got a four four or a four or a four. So um, wrong square sidestep has cost him there. But he's still he's still got a he's still just got a two D him right with tackle. Yeah, that was that was an appalling setup from Tosky. Absolutely appalling. Like knowing that the Wood Elves will try out a two turn, like you know, and you lose if they make it. That's why they'll try it. Oh, I mean that's not that relevant, is it? It makes him do a one in thirty six. But oh, oh, well that's really good. Holy moly! Holy moly! Those last rolls. God, this actually looks difficult now, doesn't it? 3-2 with no re-roll? Or 3 with a re-roll? And it doesn't even help him. 3-2 and then 1-D, that seems rubbish. Man, this is actually... I don't even know what the right play is here. Flip me. So great recovery. Struggling to think of anything better than the three two dodge. I guess the leap. But then if you don't power him, it doesn't help, so probably the three two dodge was the best. Probably just three two. Just just dodge with the carrier. Hello, Flux Streamer. But uh, it failed. Now, do you surf him? You have all of the players you could have surfed him. But he goes to the 3D with a rustle and gets him down. A two turn failed? Yeah! Outrageous! I, I don't believe it! I didn't think it was possible either. I think the setup was terrible, but um, that's a great point. Uh, that kind of, that kind of, <laughs> kind of, I kind of missed that. But yeah, two turn, a two turn touchdown failed. What? What? Oh my god, he can get it in a cage here, can he? I didn't put it in the cage. This was a cage. Isn't it strange when people do things like that? Like, it's a cage, one to the right. Like, I guess he's in an eye cage, like guard eye cage, but is this is be this is definitely better, isn't it? This has to be definitely better. One to the right. I don't know, Victor, my boy. I really don't know. Unbelievable rolls from Torsky, to be fair. Like, his setup was bad, and then he just rolled insane dice to put to put pressure on. Hello, Kev. Yep, yeah, it was probably my fault, yeah. It's probably my fault. <laughs> Cursed him by, by tabbing out and looking at Minecraft things, and then declaring that a two-turn could never fail. But obviously, I mean, that was a joke, because I know two turns can fail. Um, and it really does grind my gear about the dagger. So it's funny this, isn't it? Memento Mori, he's tried a dagger which failed, and he's tried a two-turn that's also failed. <laughs> oh, dear. Java. Java, obviously, Wolfram Ajax.
Oh, tell me who he is, PC! I mean, that's not an achievement. Loads of people have beaten me in Chalice. And I'm not saying he's terrible at Blood Bowl. <laughs> just because he failed to Dakar and failed to two turn. But it's just funny for the people who say two turns are automatic and Dakar's are terrible. Little bit of a foul. There's no fucking way it's K-Fog. <laughs> no fucking way is it K-Fog. Hello, Skuro. Well, oh, many, many people do it, Literally many people. Can't be K-Fog. Can it be K-Fog? Okay, it could be Kfog. It it could be Kfog. It could be Sundane. But um, yeah, it's treeless woodies. Yeah, eighty percent. Ah. Yeah, I hate it when people say they know who it is and then don't fucking tell you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's K Fog. That's amazing. How amazing, right? How amazing is it that K Fog, twice in Chalice, has had Wood Elves versus a bit of a shit banger team, got a blitz on turn one and got the ball, and then proceeded to lose? <laughs> <laughs> and both times I said it was completely over. One time I didn't know it was K-Fog, the other time I knew it was K-Fog. That's incredible, isn't it? That's actually incredible. That's actually incredible. Holy shit. It isn't over yet. No, that's true. But I mean, he's got five elves. But it isn't over. Why isn't it called 50 Reasons to Play Wood Elves? <laughs> Fuck's sake, k -Fog. Yeah, yeah, four turns. Well, three turns after this. Good evening, little wrestlers. What can I do for you? Yeah, that was a huge mistake from Big Kev. Yeah, yeah, the, the sidestep alone would make me not believe it was PTK, honestly. Imagine Big Kev making a sidestep mistake. He would do that kill, yeah, he would. I'll have to uh, find out more about these boobies. I can't believe, I can't believe Kfog would have up to the wrong square. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. <laughs> no matter how little he cares. I just can't believe. Yeah, it could be, it could be Cindy. Imagine, imagine Kfog making a mistake. I just couldn't believe it. Chigan, tell me that you can't DM me, right? Because you're an admin and you couldn't do it because it's really wrong, right? So tell me that. Tell me that. 
in public. Tell me publicly that you yeah, definitely, definitely can't tell me. And you definitely won't DM me. And then DM me who it is, please. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, that's good. Definitely don't tell me. Definitely don't tell me. Thank you. Wow, he's got no players left. A few people, a few people have beaten me on the way to Win Chalice, to be fair. But yeah, Sindin was the most recent one with his orcs, I think. Wow. One, two, three, four. He's not in range, is he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, one GFI. Flip me. Has Sean beaten me on the way to Chalice? No. I'm pretty sure he hasn't. He's only won once, didn't he? And he only won in the... Uh, he only won in the one where... Uh, where there was no money. And uh, I didn't even qualify for that because I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're all not money now. But in the, in the, in the times when... Uh, in the times when I... In the times... When there was money in Chalice, um, there was one that wasn't for money, so nobody cared except Shawnee and he won. <laughs> so it was pretty. It was pretty funny to meme on him, meme on him and say you won the only one no one cared about. But of course now nobody cares about anything. Well, he's just got a pow. And you can still blitz him, right? Because he's got grab. Beautiful cause. And just a 2 plus for Tor Sky to win. Unbelievable, Jeff. That is unbelievable. It's the funniest thing ever. No offense to KFOG, because I love KFOG. But if it's KFOG, it's the funniest thing ever that that's twice in Chalice he's got he's got a blitz and the game has been declared over on turn one and he's not won. And like plus there was the fireball, right? The fireball that hit four players and didn't didn't hit it, like targeted four players and hit none. So turn one, he'd lost the ball. And he'd spunked his wizard for no effect. Like, that was an unbelievable comeback from Torskai. And it all came down to that Dakar and not breaking through. If he'd re-rolled that, that one in nine and broken through that turn, I, I'm pretty sure he'd have won. And I think he... I don't know if it's inexperience with the Dakar, whoever, whoever the alt is. I don't know if it's inexperience with the Dakar, but I do feel like he had to re... I do feel like he had to re-roll that. If, like, I didn't see that he didn't go up that way, but if you go up that way, like, you have to break through that turn. Because obviously, as he found out, by not breaking through that turn, he, uh, he just muddled around and got caught. Um, but yeah, it was an unbelievable, unbelievable armor breaks. Obviously, he made loads of fouls, um, so that doesn't really come into the thing. Um, you can't see, like, you know, from blocks. Like, he did make a decent amount of blocks. It did go overtime, but that, that's a lot of armor breaks, isn't it? But there was a lot of fouls going on. He had three armor bra he had three dirty players and a bribe, but uh yeah, I mean, just incredible testicular fortitude hanging in by Torskai and obviously ve I mean very lucky at points, like particularly the stopping the two turn with his woeful defence in overtime. <laughs> his woeful overtime defence just rolling all of the dice was pretty great. But then he still made the players as well, right? So there you go. Um yeah, it's yeah, it's very it's very high, yeah, like like sixteen armor breaks was a lot, right? From uh, from Onan Onan averaging sixteen armor breaks every game. Twenty nine is a completely absurd number of armor breaks for sure. And there's no piling on either, so this isn't inflated at all. That's pretty insane. Um, so yeah, there you go. Commiserations, Memento Murray. Uh, nobody's told me who you are. Absolutely.
absolute bunch of pricks. Um, <laughs> congratulations to Tour Sky. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.